you know, we know Bitcoin today is a store of value. We heard, you know, the argument that it's it's like digital gold from you, Mike Saylor, and many other proponents of Bitcoin. But how do you defend the skeptics that say gold and Bitcoin have decoupled in the last couple of years or a year and a half? Yeah, well, I, you know, listen, I don't, I, I say it can be digital gold. You know, I think that's where Michael and I differ. And I love Michael. I think he's a brilliant guy and I have a number, enormous amount of respect for him. But I say that Bitcoin is still an early adopting technical asset, a result of which it will be digital gold, but it's got to have a billion wallets. It doesn't have that right now. So we just have to be patient, you know, so when technology is adapting early on, there's a lot of skeptics and a lot of doubters. There were people right. that were making horseshoes and they were making carriages. And they said, this horseless carriage is a fad. There were people in the 1990s, Bill Gates was one of them. He said, you know, the internet is a fad. Right. Uh, you know, don't take it seriously. He, to his credit, when he realized he was wrong, he shifted gears and developed an internet strategy. So, so the, point, the point I'm making is that uh, I don't think we're there yet. You know, I don't think that we are in the zip code of digital gold or inflation.